All right, everybody, it's about time I discuss some basic data types in MongoDB. We will begin by inserting a new document into our students collection, db.students.insert1. We're inserting a document, add a set of curly braces. The first data type I'll discuss is a string. Suppose we have a field of name. A string is a series of text within quotes. These can be either double quotes or single quotes, but typically I like to put them within double quotes. A string is a series of text, like a name, like Larry. Strings can contain spaces. We could enter in a first name, space, then a last name, Larry Lobster. They can also contain numbers, Larry123. However, in a string, we treat the numbers differently. We read them more as characters rather than actual numbers. So let's stick with name Larry. That's a string. It's a series of characters. Then we have integers. An integer is a whole number. Let's create a field for age. Larry will be 32. Whole integers don't contain decimal portions. It wouldn't make sense to enter in 32.5. We don't really keep track of people's half birthdays and stuff. So age would be a whole number. Those are integers, whole numbers. Then we have doubles. A double is a number that contains a decimal portion. Maybe a grade point average. Grade point averages typically contain decimals. Larry has a 2.8 GPA. It's a double because there's a decimal portion. Integers are whole numbers. Doubles are numbers that contain a decimal. Then we have Booleans. Booleans are either true or they're false. It's kind of like a light switch. It's only on or off. There's only two states. Let's create a field for full time. Is the student full time? This can be either true or false. Larry is too busy working out all the time. He is a part-time student, not a full-time student. We'll set that field to be false. Date objects are pretty popular in MongoDB. Suppose we have a registration date. Register date. To create a date object, you can use the new keyword, followed by a call to the date constructor. If you don't pass any arguments to the date constructor, you'll use the current time in the UTC time zone. Otherwise, you can pass a date and time, like 2023, January 2nd. You could add a time, too. But we'll just stick with the current date and time that's assigned to us. Those are date objects. The next data type is null. Null means no value. I'll create a field for a graduation date. And I will set that to be null. Larry is a current student, but we don't know when he's going to graduate. All we're really doing is creating a placeholder. We don't have a date yet, so we can set that to be null. That's to be filled in later. So null means no value. Then we have arrays. Much like in modern programming languages, is kind of like a variable that has more than one value. But in MongoDB, we have a field that can have more than one value. Let's create a field of courses. What courses is Larry enrolled in? Place all values within a set of straight brackets. Let's insert multiple values. What courses is Larry in? Maybe he's in biology. These values are all comma separated. Chemistry. Then calculus. So that's an array. They're all enclosed within a set of square brackets. They allow one field to contain multiple values. Then we have nested documents. This would be good for an address. To create a nested document, you use a set of curly braces. Within the nested document, we can list some field value pairs. How about a street? Let's come up with a street name. One, two, three, fake street is good. Then a city. Bikini bottom. And a zip code. One, two, three, four, five. It is possible to have documents within documents, which is what we did with the address. Let's enter everything to see if it works. Yeah, that was acknowledged. Let's head to Compass. Refresh, and here is Larry. Name Larry, age 32, GPA 2.8. Full time is set to false. He's a part time student. Here is Larry's registration date and time. We're using the UTC time zone. His graduation date is set to null. All of his courses that he's in is stored within an array, and his address is stored as a nested document. 
Alright everybody, and those are a few basic data types you should know in MongoDB.